when we have something in limited supply, uh, we need to make sure that we use that in the best possible way. And the best possible way means uh, a way which would generate the maximum profit. And that's called optimum production plan. If you're producing many products, and that's what the reality is nowadays, that we are producing many products in one factory. If we have labor in supply, we would allocate our labor in a way which would give us maximum profit. If the raw material is in, in short supply, we would allocate it in a way which would give us the maximum profit. So that is the optimum production plan. How we work that out, we use this process which is given in our slides. Limiting factor is a factor that prevents companies achieving the level of activity it would like to. So we would like to sell as much as possible, but let's say our material or labor is in short supply, we can't do that. And scarce resource, they're both similar concepts, are where one or more of the manufacturing input needed to make a product is in short supply. For each product, uh, calculate the contribution per unit of the limiting factor and then rank products in order of the contribution per unit of the limiting factor. Allocate the scarce resource to the highest ranking product. And once the demand for the highest ranking product is satisfied, move on to the next highest ranking product and so on until the scarce resource is used up all of it. It will make a lot more sense once we do this exercise. Sunway is planning to produce a range of three DVD players. For budgeting next year's production, the management wants to ensure that the most profitable sale mix is achieved. But they are facing the following constraints. In reality, you could have more than one constraints. You can have limited uh, material, you can have limited labor, you can have limited sales. That's multiple factors. Let's call it one, two, and three, rather than all three together. A restriction on sales or a shortage of material and or a shortage of labor, one by one, okay? The cost and the sales price per unit for its models are basic, medium, luxury. Selling price one given, let's not go through that. Direct material, direct labor, other variable cost, and fixed costs. Two basic pieces of information we needed in this question. One is sales price, which is given clearly, and then our variable costs. We will ignore fixed costs in this, in this question. A restriction on sales. So, first of all, let's calculate contribution per unit, and that is sales. Okay, we have three different products, basic, medium, and luxury. Uh, let's use pound signs as well. So 150. 300 and 600. That's our selling price. Less variable costs. So I'm using this as a heading, all right? So material. Thirty hundred fifty thirty. Hundred and other variable VOH, yeah, variable overheads. Or says variable costs. And that is twenty 
130 and 120. We will ignore fixed cost. Those who never attend, I always get a couple of students who actually add fixed cost as well. And I know they never attended my classes. And we get some all the time. Uh, so contribution would be our selling price less all of the variable costs and that's our contribution so step one if you go back to the slides it says for each product calculate the contribution per unit of the product so that's the first bit okay for each product, calculate the contribution per unit of the limiting factor. So now, contribution per unit per limiting factor. Okay, so we are going to divide this contribution by the amount of the limiting factor. And this would give us contribution per unit per limiting factor. So. In this case, the, the, first, the first one is uh, sales, all right? If sales is limiting factor, contribution per unit by sales, okay? And that's because sales is my uh, scarce resource. I cannot sell as much as I would like to. So what do I do? Contribution divided by 150, which is sales, B8 divided by B3, If sales are our limiting factor, we would rank luxury first, basic second, and medium third. In normal circumstances, if we have to drop a product, it would not be luxury. If we don't have enough cash to produce all of the products, we would produce luxury first and then basic. And if we don't have enough, then we will leave medium. A shortage of material. Okay. Shortage of material. So now contribution Per unit divided by material and this is cost it can be a bit more complicated by asking you to do it per kg we are not doing that and we will not do that in exam as well so we'll simply take the contribution per unit divided by the cost of the material yeah. 50 divided by 30 167 percent means that when you spend 100 pound on the material it makes a contribution of 167 pound towards fixed cost and profit. So an investment of 100 pound on basic, on material, would give us a contribution of 167 pound. Going back on our contribution to sales ratio uh, for basic, whenever we sell basic for 100 pound, 33 pound is contributed towards fixed cost and profit. So, because 
luxury contributes more it contributes 38 pound for every 100 pound worth of sales it's our favorite product because it contributes more towards fixed cost and profit in this case obviously our ranking would be so which one is first explain the last one which you just did okay so from 100% mean when we produce a product so let's say we are produ producing basic and uh, to produce basic we need to spend 50 pound on labor so we give 50 pound to labor yeah and it produce it gives us 50 pound of contribution towards fixed cost and profit this means a hundred percent return on investment on labor not really an investment but spending on on labor then for medium if we spend 20 pound it gives us a 50 pound contribution that is a return of 250 percent so if we give labor a hundred pound to produce medium it would contribute towards to, uh, profit fixed cost and profit 250 pound and the third one is luxury uh, which is 100 pound on direct labor gives us 230 pound on contribution that's in 100 pound terms if we give that's what it is basically 100 pound giving to labor and labor would produce uh, goods which are worth 230 pound in contribution towards fixed cost and profit so the highest the contribution is the highest the ranking is so you can see that 250 is the highest so the ranking is first it's just like your marks if you get higher marks you get higher position so contribution per the limiting factor is just like your marks then luxury is giving 230 percent so it would be produced second and if any labor left then we would be producing basic otherwise you would not be producing basic so this ranking is actually called an optimal production plan 